Blackpool's a seaside resort on the northwest coast of the United Kingdom. We're in an area of significant deprivation. So for our students, it's so important that we teach them that there is this other world out there. And if you do well and get a good education, that anything is possible. Good morning. Our teachers, the first time when we started introducing coding at school, you could see the terror on the faces that, you know, what, what's this that you're teaching us? But the pupils hit the ground running with it. Right, books away in your places. We're going to open Swift Playgrounds. We'll find We sit back and watch and listen to the conversations they're having. That's really when the magic can happen. Is he following the code? If the code was wrong, if there was a bug in the system, they didn't just say, well, that's it, I can't do it. They thought, well, actually, this isn't working. Why is it not working? What have I done here? That should work. It's not just about having the right answer, but the questions to get them there as well. It's about those relationships from working with each other. All you could do is move forward, move forward, cuddle switch. You've got to challenge your pupils, and that's exactly what Swift Playground does. It challenges them all the time. Who's ready for pilot school? If it hadn't been for iPad and everyone can code, I don't think coding would have had the same impact. You can see by the language they're using. We found a bug. We put move directly. The way they're thinking, the way you talk to them now about opportunities. Yes, yes, yes. It's opened up a whole new world of possibilities. So a lot of our pupils might not go on to be coders, but these transferable skills they can take with them to any aspect of life.